let me write down what are the things that we have to discuss after this so now strictly we go with the input methods because all other things are done strictly we'll go with the input methods in the input methods we have already completed list input correct that is the first input method and we have two more column input and then i have formatted input right and then we have some options we have already covered few that is we have covered under the in file options we have covered uh, what and all we have covered one is dlm we have covered dsd we have covered i think only two there under the input options we have covered double trialing what is pending is single trialing this is pending correct and then under this we have four main things flow over we discussed a little about it partially completed miss over trunk over and stop over these four are pending in addition i have first ops is equal to obs is equal to so these are the various in file and input options we are going to discuss here in addition to this we also need to discuss data set options under the data set options we have again first stops will come here obs will come here keep drop rename so these are the various options that we have to discuss and these are the methods that we have to discuss under the other things okay anyways i have it here but still i'm, I'm just putting for the reference so by end of next week that is in the next five days we are going to complete module number one all this will be completed in the module number one so where we are yesterday we have completed the libraries how to create the libraries what are the user defined libraries and all correct and we decided to go with some of the in file and input options today correct and who's this i think uh hmm, has me i saw your messages and i also saw you understand what needs to be done on your own so i'm glad so hope everything is clear yes sir clear perfect perfect all right so we have already completed in file options two in file options not two three uh, dlm and dst and also one input option called double trialing okay so today we will go with other in file options which are in detail we discuss about what is this flow over then we go with stop over miss over and trunk over okay so for that let me first go with one of the input file right i'll just go with in file options input file dot dc so i'm trying to go ahead because anyways i have this data the same data i'm taking here with a minor change very minor change <coughs> let's say that in the first regard in the first regard i don't have any information about the location i have i supposed to have six variables there but i have only five variables of the data right so when i try to give a short line what do you mean by short line i supposed to have six variables in my input because my input also i defined in such a way but here i'm just going go only with five variables are five input variables in that case what will happen we are going to decide now or we are going to understand now so what is the question here when sas supplied with a shortened line so what do you mean by shortened line so you define some variables in your input statement but in your input file you are going to have less variable values than 
you actually mentioned your in statement in such cases how SAS behaves you are going to understand today so for that i'm just taking the data from my list input itself so this is the ideal one correct code and everything is there only thing i'm going to change here is which is that SAS options yeah so here everything remains going to be the same except that my file name is going to change what is my file name now i have kept a new file here which is this right and when i have this particular one and if i run this particular script today i just executed it let me show you the input one more time one two three four five six one two three four five six right but if you look into the first one i have one two three four five i have only five variables i supposed to have six variables data in each record but in this scenario i have only five variables data in the first line so what exactly happened how SAS behaves in this way or in this when this kind of input appears that is going to be the discussion now so let's start with that if you look into the log first i don't have any errors correct i don't have any errors everything looks pretty normal but if i look into my data that is my input data and if i compare that with my output i can see that something is wrong i supposed to have three records but in my output i have only two so what might happen can someone explain this because we already had a discussion about it that's the reason i'm asking can someone explain this Okay, let me explain myself. Yeah, Mahendra. Uh, because the um, the last uh, variable is a one zero two. Is mm -hmm. SAS is considering is it continuous data? So that's why, why is it why it will consider as a continuous data? It is not continuous data, right? Okay, let me explain that. So we all know like every time we want to do this we always go ahead with the sas pdv correct so we try to call it as a you know we try to understand this by comparing with the sas pdv but not comparison i can say that how sas works we know so based on that we can proceed correct so let's start with this hmm. so this is your data correct so what i have here let me delete this and also delete this. So last this. Now. Right? So this is your ideal data. Am I correct? So let's go one by one. So when I go with the code. So data student, the data student is nothing but I have to create a data set called student created. After that, I have to check in file whether my input file is present or not. Anyways, in my input folder, this is my folder, input file is exists. And also we are suggesting SAS that you have to read that input file with the help of DLM. Yes, the DLM is the delimiter is going to be come out. So second thing also done. What is number three? You are defining that one, two, three, four, five, six. There are supposed to be six variable values you need to read. So you are creating six variables and their properties. Done? Up to this all of you are clear? These are the six variables I have to read from the input file. Correct? Now the next thing is going to be when I, the moment I get run statement, SAS understands that 
my code is completed the step is completed now i have to kick start with reading the data from the input file so what is my input file here my input file is nothing but this correct this entire text file this is the one so sales we always know that it reads the data record by record it will take the first record okay first record is ready now the next question is going to be from the first record how it is going to read the data so first it is going to have your underscore n underscore value as one default value for underscore error underscore equal to zero all the variables values are assigned with the missing value so we know that once it assigned with the missing value only numeric missing values are assigned as period all the character missing values are assigned with the blank space correct now how it is going to read the variables since dlm is the delimiter is going to become a from the first position to till it encountered the first record sorry first in first comma that is first delimiter it is going to read it try to read that particular value as first variable value correct and then from the first delimiter to second delimiter it try to read it as the second variable value then similarly then between the next two limiters and the next two delimiters and the next two delimiters correct correct this is from record number one how many records are there totally three records are there correct this is my second record and also this is going to be my third record correct so what is my second record here this is my second record according to my second record i can say that my data is going to be a102 first i'm writing it a and then krishna then 14 m chm what is my third record this is my third record what is this b103 b anu 15 f blr correct so these are my variables from the input file this is for my input file from my input file these are the variables i have to read correct now what is going to happen out of all this here i don't have the data right so what sas is going to do between the first record to second record between the first delimiter first position to first delimiter first variable value and it try to keep on reading the data in that fashion correct but the only challenge that it is going to face here is going to be in the first record for the location i don't have the data so what it is going to do a101 it is going to read here because it is, it is going to be a character and less than eight bytes and it just is going to be your a and then it is going to be morally and this is going to be 15 and this is going to be m now the question is this i don't have the data when i don't have the data in the current record what it will do is it is going to see is there any other re input record present or not is it the end of the file is it the end of the file or do you have do you have any other variable values correct that is what it is going to check i do you have any other variable values in that line i don't have this is a short line only four of them are present the other one is not there A 
<coughs> sorry guys so now you can see that in my first card i don't have the last variable value but location i have defined in the input right so the condition is going to be what and all the variables i placed in the input that is input statement all those record values all those variable values i need to read but here i don't have the fifth, sixth variable value when i don't have this value it try to see is there any other value in the same line i don't have it then it is going to take the next record first variable value as the current variable value that is a102 what it is trying to do it is going to see is there any other variable in the same line i don't have it when i don't have it it is going to check is there any other record in the input file yes i do have it so next record first variable value read it here done if that record has if that record has any other variables don't read any of them don't ever read any of them leave it simply skip it skip this particular one because i have already read this first record second record first variable value as first record last variable value already one variable has moved to the first record so even though there are other variable values present in the same line don't read it skip them and then proceed to the last one this is my last one i have six variables all the six variables it is going to read it here done so is this what your output data can you have a quick check a101 a morally 15m a102 that is what you got your output so what is this it looks like a known issue yes obviously it looks like a known issue what is this issue is all about the issue is whenever sas encounters a shortened line it try to read next variable value as the current variable value when the next variable doesn't exist in the same line it try to read the variable value from the next record and it will skip that entire record is this understandable first of all whether this approach is correct or not let's forget about it how sas is behaving when it encounters a shortened line are you able to follow or not that is what matters can i get a quick confirmation from every one of you why i got two records instead of three records when i have a shortened line is this understandable yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir no questions right anyone okay now the problem is how to handle this how to handle this there are three approaches now how many approaches there are three approaches when sas encounters a shorter line default behavior is flow over whatever happened here we can call that as a flow over flow over is called as a default behavior this is the sas default behavior now first of all this data is wrong right i am not supposed to read location as a102 because location is a character a100 a102 is meeting the character because both the data types are same the lengths are same that is the reason i am able to read it but ideally it is wrong right i should not read it like that so first of all first of all the sas itself is not throwing any error correct this is ideally a data error but sas is not throwing any error if it throws an error at least we can go back to the person who is sending this particular file to him to file to me and then i can ask him hey your file have three records but the for the first record all the vari variable values are not present can you look at it correct like that we can ask when we can ask at least we can get an error if we get an error we can do it correct so what i have to do is let's say in my scenario in my scenario whenever there is a short in line sas should not process it sas should not process wrong data instead it's okay to throw an error 
for that i have to use an option called stop over here i'm writing you can see i just write stop over since it's an in file option i'm just keeping in this in file so now you can see if i run the same code just with one additional option now you can see i'll get an error what is that error is telling to me it is saying that hey input statement exceeds the record length meaning in the first record itself for the fifth variable sorry for the sixth variable location is equal to here i don't have the data can you see that i don't have the data so since i don't have the data there since i don't have the data there i'm stopping the process i'm stopping the process because i don't encourage you to read the wrong data now you can see it is clearly saying that in the error equal to one in the line number one so your line number one has the issue because your line number one does not have the sixth record so what is stop over stop over is something where when sas encounters a shorter line it won't process it it will stop the execution and throws an error to your log file is this clear anyone it's a... any questions on it okay thanks yes i have a question morally please go ahead yeah actually do we need to use this stop over uh, keyword every time we create a data set like we don't know whether the data we get uh, is uh, perfect and and the data we get is May, may or may not con contain all the like records right so is it mandatory to use the stop over every time we use we use to create the data set first of all wonderful question but i'll answer it in a different way so let me finish two more options then we think what option need to use and when to use because this is not just stop over i have two more options miss over and trunk over correct anyway flow is a default behavior so then I have three options, stop over, miss over, trunk over. Among these three, which one to use? So can I extend your question like that? Not only stop over, since I have two more options, which option to use under what scenario? Is that okay, Tulsi? Can I yeah. go ahead and I can explain? Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah.